Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can access the parental controls section of the Xfinity Flex TV box. Currently, I'm on the settings menu and I'll show you how to get in here in just a minute. But first, I wanted to let you know I do have other videos on the Xfinity Flex TV box. And if you're interested and have time and want to learn more about the Xfinity Flex TV box, I'll link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video, and please check that playlist out. Okay, so we're currently in the settings menu. Let me show you how we get here. Okay, so I'm on the home screen, and um, up in the top left corner, right next to the search icon, is this gear icon here. And we're going to use the remote uh, to scroll to the gear icon, and then press the button in the middle of the silver diamond, and that will take you into the settings menu. And then once you're in the settings menu, you can use the remote to scroll down and over to parental controls and then press the button in the middle of the silver diamond to um, get into this menu. This is the parental controls menu. So the first option is parental control pin. Um, and it says to restrict certain types of content, set parental controls for this device. Um, and if you want to turn this on, you can press the button in the middle of the uh, silver diamond and it will ask you to set a parental control pin. Um, the application locks, this restricts access to applications on this streaming box. Um, same thing if you want to activate this, you can press the button in the middle of the silver diamond. Uh, snooze pin, it says temporarily suspend parental control enforcement. After the timer has ended, parental control enforcement will resume. Purchase pin is not affected. Um, and if you want to turn this on, you same thing, you'll press the button in the middle of the silver diamond. And then down here you have the pin history. So I'm going to press the back button here. Um, and I'm going to show you one more menu here. So if we press um, the right uh, directional arrow to go over to purchase pin, um, and then we'll select this menu by pressing the button in the middle of the silver diamond. Um, and then the purchase pin, what this is, it says require pin to make Xfinity purchases on this device. Third party apps may have separate pins. So if you wanted to turn this on, um, you would use the button in the middle of the silver diamond uh, to create a purchase pin. Uh, that way, um, you know, you would have to enter that pin to make Xfinity purchases on this device. So um, to get back to the home screen, you can press the back arrow. That will take you back to the settings menu, and then you can press the back arrow again, um, or from any of the menus, you can just press the home button here and it will take you back to the home screen. So I hope this video has been helpful. And like I said, I do have other Xfinity Flex TV box videos that I'll link in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time and wanna learn more about the Xfinity Flex TV box, please check that playlist out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.